Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. Today, we're going to make something. Join me for the next tutorial starting right now. In video part one, I showed you how to make the full hexagon motif worked in rounds. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some of the partial motifs that we use in this design. And we're going to work back and forth in rows, meaning we're going to turn our work at the end of each row. So the first partial motif I'm going to show you is the four-sided motif. And it begins with a chain five and slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring. Chain one, single crochet in the ring, chain five, and single crochet in the ring. Let's do that four more times. And then it's chain two and double crochet in the ring. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. So we have not joined this round at the moment, but we do have six chain five spaces. The last chain two double crochet counts as our last chain five space and also positions us into the top center of that chain five space to begin the next row. Row two begins with a chain one and turn your work and single crochet in that first chain five space, chain five, and single crochet in the next chain five space. I'm gonna repeat that four more times. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row two. You should have five chain five spaces. Row three begins with turning our work slip stitching into the first chain five space, chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, and four more double crochets in that same space. Our repeat for this row is chain three and five double crochets in the next chain five space. You wanna repeat this all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row three. You should have four chain three spaces. Row four begins with slip stitching across and into the center double crochet of the first set of five double crochets, like that. Then chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, one double crochet in the same stitch, then chain six, slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook, chain one and two double crochets again in that same stitch. This is what that should look like. It's a chain five pico in the middle of the four double crochets. Chain three, skip two double crochets, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, skip two double crochets and work two double crochet, chain six, slip stitch to fifth chain from hook, chain one, two double crochets in the next double crochet. So there's the two doubles, chain six, slip stitch in the fifth chain from your hook, chain one and two doubles. You want to repeat from the chain three single, chain three, two doubles, chain six, slip stitch in the fifth chain, chain one, two doubles. You want to repeat that all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row four. You should have five chain five picots or chain five spaces. Row five begins with slip stitching across and into that first chain five space. So you want to start by turning your work and then slip stitch across the next double, slip stitch across the next slip stitch, slip stitch into the chain five. Okay, so now we're into the chain five space, chain three, and two double crochet cluster in that same space, which counts as our first beginning 
three double crochet clusters. So let me show you the two double crochet cluster. It's yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook in the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. You should now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Chain nine. And single crochet in the next single crochet. Chain nine. And in the next chain five space, work a three double crochet cluster. Three double crochet cluster is yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Do that two more times in the same space. You should now have four loops on your hook yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. It's a three double crochet cluster. You want to repeat chain nine, single, chain nine, three double crochet cluster all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row five. You should have five three double crochet clusters. Row six begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three. Turn our work and double crochet in the same stitch. So that chain six and double counts as our first double crochet, chain three, double crochet, or V-stitch. Chain two, five double crochets in the next chain nine space. Chain three, five double crochets in the next chain nine space. chain two, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next cluster stitch. And so our repeat for this row is chain two, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And you want to repeat that all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row six. You should have nine chain three spaces. Row seven begins with slip stitching into our first chain three space. And obviously turning our work, chain six, which counts as a double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the same space, chain five, skip the next double crochet, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain seven, skip the next three double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet, chain seven, Skip the chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain seven. Skip three double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet, chain five. And in the next chain three space, work double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. Our repeat for this row begins with the chain five, single, chain seven, single, chain seven, single, chain seven, single, chain five, and double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next chain three space. You want to repeat this all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row seven, and you can fasten off at the end of row seven. This is our partial four-sided motif. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this same stitch pattern, but in the two-sided partial motif, which is the third and final motif that you'll need to complete the Bali crochet pullover top. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.